What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Cast and Spear. Today we have Brett Whitman from Spear Factor. Uh, he's going to talk about one of the most important things we should be thinking about for spearfishing, which is safety, and especially around our weight belts, how to be properly weighted, knives, and all that fun stuff. So, Brett, how do we make sure we're safe out there? Well, first thing to do, take a free diving course to teach you about being properly weighted. And then um, the second thing that I like to do is when I make, get a good weight belt. So when you start diving, you notice that your wetsuit will compress with your body as you go down in depth and your weight belt will get looser and looser and looser. So that's why they have these rubber ones. So like the scuba guys wear different ones, but the rubber ones are, are pretty nice. Um, so <clears throat> basically the first thing I do when I rig up my stuff is I try to figure out and I actually write it down like what wetsuit set up and how much weight I usually wear. So like sometimes I'll wear a three mil top and a five mil bottom or vice versa or whatever. And I just kind of write it down in my notes so that I'm not constantly messing with, oh, I can use an extra two pounds. Mm -hmm. Another thing to remember is how deep are you diving? Like if you're diving shallow, you might want to put like a little extra weight on to where you're not having to kick to stay down. You can stay down the bottom comfortably. Um, but ideally, when you're weighted yourself, you should be basically able to float on the surface fairly easy with a weight belt. And then as you let out your air, like, you should start to sink. I mean, you should be weighted to where your eye level has the water on your mask, like the mask right there. And um, I try to rig it up to where I'm coming up and I have a full breath. I'm positive, like that last atmosphere, like the last 20 feet, I'm able to like kind of relax and just float up. Um, there's two reasons to that. One is obviously it helps you, like you can relax on your way up and if you're like tight on air, you can just chill, save your air and then get the surface and breathe. The other thing is that if you do have a shallow water blackout, you're not gonna sink like a rock. Um, most of the shallow water blackouts happen and that first atmosphere, that first 30 feet. So when you do, you don't want to sink like a rock. So if you do happen to float up after blacking out, which usually doesn't happen, but if you were, it's gonna make it rescue easier for you. I like to have my weight in my back, not on my hips or in the front, so that when I do get to the surface, my buddy goes to rescue me, it's gonna be easier for me to float face up. Otherwise, you're going to be on your side, you know, and, you know, your buddy's going to be like stressing out anyways. So yeah. that's the easy ways to help with the rescue and the safe, safest way to do it. All the weight kind of in your back. Um, and then always I have a knife with me. Do you like to use the this style belt buckle or do you like the one that's like a pinch? Yeah, so I don't like the pinch one. I've used that before. I've had it come off quite a bit mm. actually. Um, this one I like because I just literally can do it quick and it'll come out. Gotcha. You know, if you're ever in a situation, just FYI, where you're on the bottom and you think you've ever stayed your welcome and you're worried about coming up, take your weight belt off and have you take your weight belt off and have it in your hand, so okay. that when you do black out, if it happens, you let you go whoop, and you go to the surface. Interesting. I've never heard of that one. You haven't? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. I mean, you've got to be like if you dive enough, you're aware. You know your limits. Yeah. I've done it where I've had to go after a shaft that was stuck. So rather than, and we were talking about this with Matt, same thing happened. Mm -hmm. Rather than um, going back up, you're like, I'll just go back down, unfoul this thing and then head up. Or you've overstayed your welcome by about 10 seconds to like your usual dive. And then you get about 15 feet from the surface and it's like night night, you have like loss of motor control and you just go out. Um, so by having it in your hand, if you're real deep, you just poop and you float up. It's just be aware, guys. Be safe. No fish is worth your life. Especially a weight belt, you know, it's like 100 That's, bucks yeah, or less. So you surviving is definitely, well, uh, yeah, just and pay the tax. Just let it go. Worst case scenario, you have a couple of your buddies go down and grab it. It's a very simple, cheap knife because the odds are I will lose it at some point. But it's sharp and it does the trick. Um, you can get those at Amazon. I'll put a link in for that or something. Some people like to put their knives on their arms 
And the only thing I will say about that is that if you happen to have your knife on your arm and the other arm is stuck, you're gonna have a hard time getting that knife off to free you. Right. Um, the chances are that's not gonna happen. But in my job, there was all kinds of stuff that we saw. Now, do you recommend having multiple knives? Um, I don't see, you know, if you can get a second knife on your calf or something, then yeah, that's not a bad idea. And, and I would say, don't put on your calf on the outside, put on your calf on the inside. Um, because when your float line or whatever kelp runs past you, it's going to go on the outside of your, ship, of your leg. The inside is usually the safest bet for anything extra. I mean, I don't necessarily need uh, see the big need for it, but you know, it's like anything. Uh, if that makes you feel comfortable and be a better diver, then go for it. You know, it's all preference. It's all whatever you. I mean, you can't err too much on the side of caution for that stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Definitely check out Brett and his stuff on Instagram. It's Whitman Brett, or go to his site. It's spearfactor.com yeah. he has a podcast and more videos and if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and until next time stay safe in the water see ya all right bye guys